Okay, so this is a follow-up on uh, last week's lecture, uh, meaning this past Wednesday. I wanted to make this uh, video tutorial in case some of you were not too sure about the setting up the, uh, lo the local rotational axis and fixing the joint orientation. Most of you were, but I think there were just a couple of you that were not, that I didn't catch. So this is uh, just in case. Um, so, all right. The local rotational axis, all right? Here we are. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the root, open up the hips. Actually, I'm gonna close the hips and I'm gonna press and hold the shift key. I'm gonna click on this box. That way it expands everything. And all I want to do is I want to select down here, press and hold shift, and I'm going to select hips and let go. That way it selects everything. Then I'm going to go to display, transform display, local rotation ax axes. Boom. Okay, so just like in class, how I showed you guys this stuff, I'll quickly re-explain again. What you're seeing here is the joints and how they're positioned or, or how they're gonna behave when you rotate them and move them. What do I mean by that? Basically, I'm going to hide that. I'm going to hide that. They're going to behave like as if it's a uh, it's perfectly right in the middle, zero, perfect up and down, and perfect left to right, and perfect uh, front and back in terms of movement. Meaning that, for example, if I built... Uh, a sphere, right? You see how it's perfectly aligned with the world. It's perfectly aligned with the world. See? Because in 3D world, it's all numbers. Like how I taught the intro course. Everything starts at 000, 000, 000 and based off of a zero point. See? Up, forward and back, and left to right. All information that is stored here. Okay. But if you rotate it like that, it's still a perfect right angle because it's based off of the 3D world zero point space. Okay. But you, this ball, what if you wanted to have it its handles go this way, right? Where it's more natural. Because if you want to bend, if you want to go and move like that, you know, then you would want the, the control handle to bend this way. The direction of the object, okay? But the problem is the joints, they're not like that. You know, the joints are for example, here, they're perfectly up and down and across. All perfect right angles, see? All perfect right angles. And that's a problem. And the joint balls themselves, they're all still perfect right angles. They need to flow. You know, they need to flow instead of being perfect right angles. Because that directly influences how the joints will bend when you manipulate the puppet, the armature. And that's what we're here to fix. Or at least we did fix it on Wednesday. But again, this is for those who are still kind of struggling. Now, 
here's the the guide. Uh, it's the word. It's a word document under contents on Brightspace. It's here. All right. Your homework was this. Uh, the fingers, fixing the orientation of the fingers and the thumb and the lower leg. That was your homework. Okay. And in class, we did the uh, hips, spine, and spine one, two, and three. We did the neck, head, neck, and head. And we did the shoulder, arm, and forearm. Right? So, all right. And let's just, uh, yeah, for those who are kind of uh, lagging behind, let's uh, fix this up. I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone did this. The neck and the arms, that's a, that part I'm not too sure if some of you are um, lagging behind or not, or having some technical issues. Regardless, let's grab the, let's look at what the PDF says. Grab the hips, spine one, spine two, and spine three. All right, so grab the hips, spine one, spine two, spine three. And the way I did that was again, I can press and hold the, the shift key and click on hips and still hold the shift key and click on that, that, and that. That's how you mold. That's how you multi-select or basically shift select all of that. Hips, spine, one, two, and three. All right. That's basically him, 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 and him. Okay, we're going to fix that. All right. It says here, let's go to skeleton, orient joint option box. Okay. Skeleton, orange joint, option box, right here. And then you're going to, uh, well, reset settings. Okay. This is the default. You're gonna orient joint to the world is off. Okay, orient joint to the world. Okay, it's off by default, that's good. Primary axis is gonna be Y. Uh, right now it says at X, so let's change it to Y. Okay. Secondary axis is gonna be X. Secondary axis, we have to change it to X. Okay. Secondary axis world orientation. Secondary axis world orientation. It has to be X and also with a positive value. It has to be X with a positive value. That's a plus sign, so that's good. You're gonna uncheck orient children of selected joints. Uncheck it. All right. So we got that, we did that, we're going to apply and watch carefully. It's going to change, especially here. Boom. See, you see that this part right here, especially two and this and this, this and this. So it flows more. You see, see how it's flowing. You see how the Y is aiming at, it's aimed at an arc now, but we have an issue with this. Spine three, it's flowing this way, which is not good. You want it to be uh, similar to him, where the Y is still going more or less up versus going angled this way. The way you fix that is you select him, and we did this in class. This guy right here, spine three, orient joint options, orient this joint, orient joint to the world. 
So what that means is, even though this says orient to the world, what it means is that this joint, he's going to take on the, the uh, behavior of this joint in terms of which way it's aiming, which is just going more towards up, flowing up like this way. So you'll see. I'm going to press it. Boom. Make sure this is off. All right. See now, see that see a slight angle. That's what we wanted. Okay. Next. The other and the next part that we did in class, we fixed the neck, the neck one, neck two, head and the head nub. So neck one. Press and hold shift, neck two, head, head, no, nope. all of that. All right, let's see what it says. Uh, okay, orient joint to the world, uncheck it, ooh. Uncheck it, good. Alright, the uh, primary axis is Y. Alright, we're good. Secondary axis is X. Okay, we're good. Secondary axis world orientation is X with a positive value. Okay, it's secondary axis, axis world orientation is X with a positive value. And then... Make sure to uncheck orient children of selected joints. Uncheck. All right, good. Uh, and this should be checked on by default. And uh, we're gonna go in here and take a look. Hit apply. Boom. It tilted. That was good. Uh, and the last part that we did in class was this. Uh, the shoulder, arm, and forearm. So we're going to grab the shoulder. Shift select. Upper arm and forearm. Shoulder, upper arm, and forearm. Okay, dang it, all right, orient joint options, primary axis is Y, all right, um, secondary axis is X, okay. Secondary axis world orientation, this should be Y, and also with a negative value, Y with a negative value, Y, negative value. Uncheck orient children of selected joints, yeah, unchecked it, okay. So now if you take a look at him, him and him it's gonna be different it's gonna flip down watch boom which is what we want we want the y to flow this way this is a this is your uh, common setup for our arm widely accepted throughout the years and whatnot so yeah okay and so that's what we did in class up to here so this covers everything so i'm gonna i'm gonna post uh on uh, brightspace that uh i'm gonna upload it there and i'm also gonna upload it on my youtube channel in case 
as always as a backup and on YouTube you can scrub it scrub through the timeline much much easier and more precise and also have timestamps on uh, YouTube so that was what 15 minutes um, you know what I I'll go over um, the homework yeah you know what I'll help you guys out I'll show how to do the homework for the fingers that was the homework fixing the joint orientation for the fingers also for homework was fixing the joint orientation for the thumb last C for homework was fix the lower leg joint orientation that was for homework so this this and this and I'm gonna help you out and show you the video how to make uh, in the video how to do that yeah even though it's all over here but I'm just guessing some of you are gonna be uh, apprehensive so this should hopefully help help out all right let me just uh, double check okay all right, let's fix the joint orientation for the fingers. Select the index finger chain. Move this out of the way. Boom. Here's the index finger. And I select it at the base of the chain. Okay. All right, same thing, the joint, orient joint option. God, I hate that. Now, okay, uh, orient joint to the world is off, all right. Primary axis is Y, okay, good. Secondary axis is X, good. Secondary axis world orientation is Z. Oh, this has to be Z with a negative value. It has to be Z and negative value. And also check on for orient children of selected joints. Orient children of selected joints has to be checked on. All right, so Y, X, Z, Y, X, Z with a negative and this has to be checked on. I always double check. Z and negative, Z and negative. Primary axis is Y, secondary axis is X, orange children of selected joints is on. And why is this on? Whereas before it was off. That's because when they say orient children, the children, Meaning, I had selected this. This is the base of the index finger. The, found, the foundation point. The baseline. You know, the root of it. And these are the children. So when I do this setting to this that I selected, the children will update. Whatever this gets set as, the children will follow through. This is why we checked it on. And watch what's going to happen. Boom. See? If I tilt it here, it's going to go, see the Y? It's flowing that way. Except for the end point. We're going to fix that after. Okay. Now to do the rest for him. I'm going to select the middle finger at the base. All the same settings, I'm going to hit apply. Huh. Well, that's strange. Alright. I just have to double check something. Okay. So, I was talking about the middle finger. And I'm going to change the local rotation axis, right? And how it's going to flow. So, same as the 
uh, index finger. I'm gonna hit apply, same settings. Boom, good. Next. This one. Boom. Finally, this one. All, and always remember, it's at the base. Boom. Okay. Let's do this. The carpos. Hit same thing. Boom. This one. Boom. This one. Boom. This one. All right. So this one is good. Now let's fix the thumb. Okay. All right. So you select the thumb joint chain. All right. Orient joint to the world is off. Primary axis is Y. Secondary axis is Z. Oh, it has to be Z. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the thumb is slightly different from the finger. Uh, primary axis is Y. Secondary axis is Z. Ah, secondary axis world orientation is also Z and negative value check on orient children. Okay, good. All right. All right. Check on reorient the local axis. Yeah, that's always been checked on fine. So Y Z Z with a negative Y Z Z with a negative and check this on. Okay, so we grab the thumb and have a good look. Boom. Right. Okay, so up to this point, this is what yours should look like. Or I'm looking from kind of like the top down in a way, all right, like this. And the, all the Y's should be going like that. Well, we're going to fix that, but like that, like that, like that, and like that. Okay. And the, the red should be going flowing this way, this way, this way, this way. See? Let's turn it like this, flowing this way and down should be Z. See how it's pointing down, 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 down. Same for the, the base carpals down, 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 down. And the thumb is slightly different. It's going to be going this way for the Z. Boom, boom, boom. All right, good. The other part of the homework was, um, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. This, the end nubs or the end joints basically i call i just i just call them nubs they're still a little wacky as you can see see so we're gonna fix that basically all you're gonna do is the orient joint you're gonna set it to the world orient joint to the world check that's it meaning that check that now we're gonna grab these Okay, you see how it's off. This is gonna be a. This is gonna take on 
the prop the 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 attributes of him in terms of how it's gonna flow. Watch. Boom. See how it's flowing? Next, grab him. Boom. Grab him. Boom. See? Grab him. Boom. Grab him. Boom. See? Very, very nice. And if I were to try to uh, rotate it, for example, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I'll grab here. I'll grab here. You don't have to do this, but I just want to show. Okay. Press E as in Edward. So it's going to rotate from here at the base. See? Whereas before, you were to try to do that with the, all the default angles. You know, the perfect right angles, it's not going to curl like this. Okay. See? See how it's bending, rotating? See that? That's the importance of what we're just doing. This is huge. Even with the finger, I'm going to grab this, this, and this. Watch it bend. Nice. Nice. Good, good, good. All right, very good. So we did the uh, fingers, thumbs, lower leg. Okay, lower leg. Uh, th select the thigh joint. Hmm. Thigh joint. Okay. <sighs> All right. Orange joint to the world is off. Primary axis is Y. Check. Secondary axis is X. Check. Secondary axis world orientation is X with a positive value. X positive value. You're gonna check on orient children of selected joints. Check it on. Okay. Hit apply. Well, let's see what's gonna happen. Boom. See? Going, flowing down, flowing down, flowing down, flowing down. Okay. So hopefully this is what you have. For example, like the X is going this way, this way, this way, this way. Uh, ignore that for now. And the Z is going to be this way, this way, like that, like that, like that. Okay. So that's, that was your homework. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's pretty much was your homework. So please have that ready because when we come back in class, it's gonna be, uh, we're gonna uh, be able to bind the character to the bones. And then it'll start rolling really fast from there. Yeah, so, um, all right, that's pretty much everything. That was only 30 minutes. Okay, and uh, please upload your homework as soon as possible so I can take a look at it and whatnot. Okay.